In this tutorial, you will learn how to create and use site columns. You have seen in some of the previous videos how to add a new column to a list. The column is defined and used only in that specific list. When a column is created as a site column, it can be added to any list or library throughout a site collection. If the properties of the site column are changed, then it will be changed in every list or library where the column is being used. In this demonstration, I will create a site column titled Office Locations that will be added to several lists throughout the site. To create a site column, you must start from the top level site so the column is available to any site or subsite in the site collection. The top level site here is the home site. Then I go to the Site Actions menu and choose Site Settings. And under Galleries, I'll select Site Columns. The default list of site columns are the built-in site columns that you will recognize as being used by built-in lists such as the Contacts, Calendar, and Task list. The site columns are grouped by the type of list they are used in, such as Contact and Calendar columns, Document columns, and Task and Issue columns. To add your own custom site column, click Create above the list. So the first thing I want to do is give the column a name, and I'm going to call this Office Location. And this will be a choice column. Next I select what group in the site columns list I want to put my custom column in. And it defaults to a group called Custom Columns, or I can create my own new group. And I'm going to call it Bioscope. And then I'll go down to where I enter my choices for the locations and replace the sample data with the actual office locations. So I finished entering the locations here for the choices. I do want the choices displayed in a drop down menu. And I do not want a default selection, so I'll delete that. And then I choose OK to save. And that returns me to the site column list and that new group titled Viascope should have been added to the list here with my new column called Office Location. Now I'll be able to add this column to any list or library in any site or subsite. And the first place I'm going to use it is on the HR site. So I'll navigate to the Human Resources site and on Human Resources I have a list titled Employee Directory. This is a list of all the employees in the Viascope company. I will add the office location column to this list. So I'll click on the List tab. I'll go to List Settings. Down in the Column section here shows me the columns that are currently in the list. Below that, Create Column lets me create a list column specific to this list. I want to choose Add from Existing Site Columns. And then I select the group where this site column is located and I had created a group called Viascope. And it shows me my office location site column I created. I'll click Add to add it to the box on the right and then choose OK. And then I'll go back and view this employee directory list. So back here in the list I can see the office location column has been added here on the far right. So to demonstrate using that I'll edit the record here. Here's the office location field. Click the drop down. Here are the choices I had added. Select a location and save. I would also like to add the office location column in the training site to the training calendar. That way when events are added to the calendar, the location can be selected as well. So I'll click on the calendar tab, go to list settings, I'll scroll down to the Columns section. Here are the current columns in the list. And again, I choose Add from Existing Site Columns. Change the group to the group I created, Viascope. Here's the Office Location column. I'll add it and then OK. I'll scroll down to view the columns. I can see the Office Location column is listed here. I'll go back and view the calendar. I'll edit one of these events to add a location. I'm 
Here's the office location field. Click the drop down. Again, here is the list. So now let's say the company opened a new office location. So I will need to add it to the office location column. I don't need to add it to each list where that column is being used. I just add it to the original site column. Then any list containing the office location site column will automatically be updated with the change. So I need to return to the home site, which is where I was when I originally created the site column. Again, go to Site Actions, Site Settings, and under Galleries, click on Site Columns. Scroll down through the list to locate my group called Viascope and click on the column name Office Location to open it. And then I'll scroll down to where the location choices are. And I'll add Jacksonville. When I come back in to edit this site column, this new section appears called Update Lists. In this option, I can choose whether all lists using this site column should automatically be updated with the change I made. The default selection is yes, and I will leave it at that and choose OK. So now if I return to the employee directory in HR, and let's say I'll edit another record here to add a location for an employee, I can see Jacksonville has been added here as well. And the same if I go to the training site, open the training calendar. I'll edit another event here and click the drop down for office locations and Jacksonville is here as well. So this is an example of using a site column in multiple locations throughout a site. And as we saw, changes made to the site column are automatically updated anywhere that site column is used.